Hello, Glitch Reaper here again. I'm here for another mob battle. Uh, I You might have been expecting Ray of Art Arena, but uh, it's a little too open for this. And at the same time, just uh, doing it in a big flat area would be a bit too... Uh, well, it wouldn't have enough wall. Uh, so, therefore, I was wanting to do this this way. And don't mind the... Angry Hulk over there. He he's not gonna move around on his own. He's not gonna be participating. He, he's just hanging out, being Hulk. Uh, he's actually being relatively calm for the Hulk. Actually, he's like me, Hulk. I'm only sort of angry. <laughs> okay. Oh well. Anyhow, there's something that I found out while I was trying to uh, make another mod pack, and. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just had an urge to try something, and it turned out to be ridiculous <laughs> in its own unique way. So, yeah, I was just kind of curious just how uh, strong a vanilla witch was compared to the Naga, which admittedly is uh, kind of a bit weak. Well, actually, originally I was originally comparing an evoker to the Naga, and... I think the witch actually does better than an evoker. So I, I'm, I, I know I'm on 1.7.10, but it, it'll work for pretty much any uh, version that I've had so far. Like as long as they're pretty much on level terms, uh, then, the, then this gets interesting with witches and nagas. So this is going to be a quick one-on-one -on -one mob battle for now. Uh, you may have seen it before whenever I did a similar fighting style with Baba Yaga versus like an army of Nagas, but this is just a single vanilla witch versus a Naga. And the thing about the Naga is it's really easy for the Naga to aggro something else onto it. So this makes mob battles with Nagas really easy to set up because it just likes ramming everything <laughs> at random. So, yeah, you can see immediately the witch takes some damage. But also note under the damage indicators, uh, and of course just vanilla dynamics, that witches heal very quickly with their potions. So you'll note that the witch maintains very close to 26 HP, and is definitely upset on the Naga. Now I will have to hold on to Obsidian, because uh, unlike a later version, it seems that uh, Nagas will break Obsidian here. Or at least it didn't try breaking it in the other arena I did, which was built a lot like this. Although admittedly in that version I didn't have a Builder's Wand handy at the time. <laughs> okay, uh, you'll also note that because of its weird hitbox that it will make a Witch's uh, potions backfire on them pretty often. So she just smacked herself with that and is poisoned. But uh, I, Witch's resistances mean they can heal faster than the poison will damage them. And she's retaining her aggro on the... Oh, okay, tried hitting with, I think, a slowness potion there. May have been weakness. Which does, uh, I think, affect the Naga, but it moves very quickly. And it seems to deal a different kind of damage with, with its body that's always constantly two damage per hit. So whenever it rakes for extra damage doing that, uh, uh, that attack, it seems to be completely disregarding any potion effect. Although, maybe not necessarily other things, I'm not sure. But potion effects do not factor in. Bump. Yeah, he keeps bumping the witch. If he does that, the witch will just keep uh, healing and getting mad. It's like, hey, hey, can I get close enough to potion you? <laughs> it's like, please, I just want to potion you in the face. Now, that doesn't even face it. Like, unless it. And that, that just gets it poisoned and upset. Oh, whiff with the actual damage potion. Oh man, a witch's special supernatural ability to brew unlimited, to have unlimited uh, potions. Uh, I don't even think they bother brewing. I think they just have them. It's like yeah, I just, I just toss out uh, various potions indefinitely. <laughs> it's like I don't have to care about the brewing stand. I just have potions. But yeah, this this makes this actually pretty wicked against the Naga. Ooh, good hit with the po oh, it's poison. Oh, good smack with the uh, with the straight up damage potion. So the witch is definitely on a good run against the naga. It's already whoa. That's why I'm taking the obsidian in. I don't want it to leave, so I'm trying to create a barrier back as fast as possible. 
But Nagas will break blocks. Ooh, direct hit for six damage. If full power, a uh, damage potion from which will deal six armor piercing damage. Oh gosh, we have holes. Oh, lots of holes. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't go. Please don't go. Please? Nope. Oh, thank you. Weird perspective, I know, but I'm trying to do a repair job quickly. Seems to only really get seriously into that whenever it's hit. Oh. Did the witch get knocked out of the arena? Where'd the witch go? Do I have to reset this? Because it's this has worked before. I think it may have knocked the witch out of the arena. Where'd the witch go? Did it despawn? I don't think it died. I don't think she died. Uh, not seeing anything else around here. Uh, sorry, this is the first time a witch has just despawned before. Uh, what even caused that? Did the did, did the witch wander away while I was re repairing? Uh, no problems. I can just I can just do a complete reset. Uh, wait. Does this mean it's actually a bit more even? Cause uh. I have a, uh, a spider eye here, which is probably from the witch. Hmm, it was working before. I guess it's, there's a chance that the Naga can win? <laughs> uh, but honestly, I've seen the witch win against the Naga, so I've got to show this off. I totally have to show this going the other way. Because that that's the way that I've seen it two or three times in a row. So I've got to do it that way. The one on one, the witch can win. It must have, uh, like, hit the witch several times in a row straight on, because the Naga does deal a lot more damage whenever it rams uh, a mob directly with its head. And now she's some now she's submarining somehow. Hello. Why, why are you submarining? This is always a weird thing with this version. Sometimes things submarine. Or at least partially. Like I'm pushing the witch. And still stuck partially in the ground. Okay. Now we got the witch out of the ground. Okay. You're a little upset now. Good, good, good. Y y you know your target. And I have obsidian in case I need to wall things. But yeah, usually the witch will keep up regeneration with the Naga's damage. So that means that the witch will eventually win. And has a variety of effects to uh, show off in the meantime. Of course, we know our vanilla witch. So, you know, they have an interesting combat style in themselves that I've always appreciated. Just potions, potions, and more potions. Just trying to make sure... Uh, the witch gets back into range on occasion. I don't even have to grab the gun or anything like that. Although I, there are some in the pack, so I, I could do that if I needed to. But right now the witch is having an issue just getting in close enough. Whoa, what's up with the sudden w extra wiggling there? The Naga is poisoned. I, the witch... Oh yeah, she poisoned herself too. Uh, poops. Again, that happens. It's because of the Naga's body sometimes uh, will impact that and cause the potion to detonate prematurely before hitting the Naga in the head. But the poison did manage to get it to go a little smaller. And it goes a little quicker whenever it shrinks. So as the damage piles up, sections of the Naga fly off. And it gets quicker, as it suddenly has a little less mass to move around. Okay. Some hits are going in. 
But yeah, maybe there's about a 1 in 4 chance that the Naga wins. <laughs> Which is kind of funny when you think about it. Of course, I might have made this arena just a little too big. Maybe. Ish. Oh, that was almost a direct hit. But not quite. The Naga backed down from that angle just at the last moment. Oh! Circle hits. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Twirl. Smack. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Which got in the poison potion again. And this time, she's not poisoned herself. In fact, she's powering up her speed. I saw that speed potion there. You want to close your distance, but at the same time, you got to watch that tail. Because uh, the Naga's uh, weird hitbox does some interesting things. And a lot of mobs don't take that into account. Like, they tend to forget that that's there. Was that direct hit with a with a damage potion? Just straight up? I think it was. Ah, uh, that one again hit the body and went really close. Okay. Time for me to do repair. It's in my way so much. Okay, come on, let me... Okay, now I can watch directly. As long as the Naga is uh, not smashing everything, I can observe this the way it was meant to be. Uh, I really need... A well, I, I, I don't think it'll break bedrock, but I just didn't want to do a bedrock arena. <laughs> so, because eh, I, I just like obsidian more. <laughs> okay, which is closing distance again. Was that a whiff with the po with the? Is it recovering? Okay. She's stopping that. But unfortunately, it also causes this. However, it seems to only really start breaking blocks in this way whenever it's been hit directly, not just poison. Okay, you, you, you. Spin around. The witch is waiting. <laughs> a little bit closer, maybe? She's a little bit closer. Eh, they'll find each other eventually, though, either way. Whoa! That was perfect. Okay, just reminding them about the battle. Oh, ho, ho, that backfired. The witch has poisoned herself. Oh, she's so sorry for that. She's going, ah, okay, I messed up. Because <laughs> the Naga's just hanging out over here and not worrying. I think it has out of combat region. Like, if it hasn't really technically taken damage for a certain period of time, then I, th I think that's when it regenerates. So I think it does have a certain amount of regeneration, but it's kind of limited. Okay, okay. So it does do so, but once in a while. So it's still more limited than the witch's regeneration. Okay, and any effect that's not a direct damage shot doesn't directly upset the Naga too much. So right now she's just using the, straight, the various effects, not going for the direct kill. She hasn't been... Of course, it's starting to recharge, so therefore, it might actually recover from this. Oh, big damage there. Whoop. <laughs> she's, she's, okay, they're dancing around each other. They're showing off their dance moves. <laughs> This isn't exactly planned, but whatever. 
dance fight. I'm still not entirely sure how the Naga's queuing off with things. Thanks for regenerating. What's up with that? Is there something else around here? That doesn't seem to be from here. Doesn't seem to be from the Naga. It's like taking uh, damage afterwards. Is there a spitting troll around here that I, I didn't get rid of? Cause that ma that looked like magic shock damage, where it j where they just take repetitive hits in the middle of nowhere for a while. It's not the and it tends to have a bit of knockback to it, where poison does not. So that that looks a bit like magic shock. I don't think that's supposed to be around here. So something went wrong. Well, since the Naga seems to be regenerating a bit here and there, or at least has for a little while, I suppose I can get myself a gravity gun just to readjust the witch whenever I need to. Okay, so let me see here. I think that's a tool. Just in case I need that. Oh, right now she seems to be repositioning herself just fine. <laughs> she can stop poisoning herself anyhow. Well, they are resistant to it, so that kind of helps. Okay. You're closing in. Will she hit again? Don't look at me. There's the. There's your enemy. Come on. Barely nicked it. Come on. Go for it. Finish off the Naga. Ken, what is causing that? Is that me? Is that is that some special effect of my armor? I don't think it is, but I could be wrong. Just in case. Okay, this time the Naga is definitely poisoned. <laughs> well, they both are. <laughs> that last one, they they're kind of a bit mutual. Kind of uh, po uh, poisoned herself along with them. So, yeah. Okay, now it's down by over 50 points. Kenshi takes what? Okay. Didn't seem to be quite as bouncy afterwards that time. Okay, got that repaired quickly. Just, just a little... Move it around here. Okay, which is back to things. I mean, I, I could have done things in the other version, but again, I think things should be fine in this pack. Okay. Oh, the witch is mad again. Just a little closer. Oh, come on, the, the Naga is re recharging, so you might want to make with the potions. Well, then not poison yourself, preferably. Oh, wait. She's cornered. Which is cornered. This is a very bad position to be in with the Naga. Oh, 
Managed to get in some good hits though. Where did Naga go down? Oh, whoa. Serious potion rage. Okay. Oh, don't get ringed out. Don't get ringed out. Just standing there. I gonna say for a while that looked weird. It's like it was just staring at the witch. Oh god. Uh oh, we have damage again to the walls. I'm on wall patrol. Okay. Yeah, the witch is really mad. Oh, she might not... Yep, yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. Oh my gosh, the poor wall. The wall is being hammered. Oh my, whoa, the dog is getting pretty low. I'm seeing that health bar. But since I got kind of whacked outside. And of course the witch's health is still pretty close to fine. What happened before? Did the witch literally just get cornered and multi-whacked? Okay, it's getting serious. Which is it is still close to uh, to full because of of recovery. The Naga is at critical. Oh my gosh, this is coming down to the wire. Oh, the Naga is down. Oh my gosh. As I said, don't underestimate the witch. Oh, that Naga got witched. Oh my gosh. Well, uh, 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 this is a Glitch Reaper, usually the Dimensional Witch, with the uh, winner. Oh wait, uh, I have to, uh, I have to do this just right. Uh, is, is there a witch hat? I thought there was a witch hat. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, I gotta, I gotta have the right hat. Anyhow, uh, this has been Glitch Reaper, and uh, here with the Victor the Witch. So, hope to hear from y'all later, and bye for now, everybody.